Good morning. The reading is from A History of God by Karen Armstrong, who has written a number of books on religion. In the beginning, human beings created a God who was the first cause of all things and ruler of heaven and earth. He was not represented by images and had no temple or priests in his service. He was too exalted for an inadequate human cult. Gradually he faded from consciousness. He became so remote that, he, that the people decided that they did not need him anymore. Eventually he was said to have disappeared. That at least is one theory popularized by Father Wilhelm Schmidt in The Origin of the Idea of God, first published in 1912. <clears throat> excuse me, 1912. Schmidt suggested there had been primitive monotheism before men and women started to worship a number of gods. Originally, they had acknowledged that only there was one supreme deity who had created the world and governed human affairs from afar. Belief in such a high god, sometimes called the sky god, since he was associated with the heavens, is still the feature of religious life in many indigenous African tribes. They yearn toward God in prayer, believe he is watching over them and will punish wrongdoing. Yet he is strangely absent from their daily lives. He has no special cult and is never depicted in effigy. The tribesmen say that he is inexpressible and cannot be contaminated by the world of men. Some say he has gone away. There have been many theories about the origin of religion, yet it seems that creating gods is something that human beings have always done. When one religious idea ceases to work, it is simply replaced. These ideas disappear quietly like the sky god, with no great fanfare. In our own day, many people would say that the god worshipped for centuries by Jews, Christians, and Muslims has become as remote as the sky god. Some have actually claimed that he has died. Certainly, he seems to be disappearing from the lives of an increasing number of people, especially in Western Europe. They speak of a God-shaped hole in their consciousness, where he used to be. Because irrelevant though he may seem to be in certain quarters, he has played a crucial role in our history and has been one of the greatest human ideas of all time.